So today is February 25th, 2020. Man, I am beyond blessed and thankful to be able to be here, to be able to speak to whoever listens to it. I don't care if two people hear this. I don't care if nobody hears this. I have to get out and I have to start saying some stuff to the world, man. Because at the end of the day, we as, as people, as humans, as Americans, we have to absolutely be thankful for what we have. We have the most blessed lives in human history. We have more positive stuff in this country and in our communities than ever before in history. It is absolutely amazing. And uh, I think a lot of us on a daily basis, we get wrapped up in the, the, the daily grind and doing things. And we forget to, to slow down, to show a little bit of appreciation for what we actually have and how absolutely lucky we ought to be here. Um, so uh, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, he keeps on saying that uh, when you're born, it's an absolute miracle when you're born because it's like a one out of 400 billion chance of you actually being born. Now, I agree with that. Just think about how those chances get narrowed down as you go through life. I always say to people, two inches to the left, two inches to the right. That's all it takes. If you are off, if you are in the wrong place, two inches to the left, two inches to the right, that's it. Your life is over. This specifically relates to combat. However, it goes over to everything in our world, everything in our society. When we drive down the road and we hear of or we see a car accident and somebody tragically dies in that car accident, that could have been you, your family member, somebody you know, if one of eight million things happened. If somebody would have, would have been late that day um, and took a little bit longer than expected getting on the road, they might have caused you to be in that accident. So today, on this day, and really every day, um, I, I, I'm very thankful for a young man and his family, specifically. His name was Lance Corporal John Thornton. Lance Corporal Thornton and I were together with 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines in Ramadi, um, late in the, in the deployment, end of February. So we were already there for, I think, five and a half months, six months, something like that. Um, we been through a lot of shit inside of the, the city of Ramadi itself. And um, we were all very comfortably back at our firm base at Hurricane Point. And we had an incoming mortar attack. That incoming mortar attack, one of the rounds landed pretty much directly between myself and Lance Corporal Thornton. Um, the trajectory of that round... When he came in and hit the ground, it pushed a blast out to him. Um, anything, literally anything could have happened that day that had tied me up for an extra four, five seconds. And I would have been standing right next to him. And I wouldn't be here today. I would not be speaking to you. Um, and and it's, it's tragic. However, I can't allow it to hold me back. I have an absolute world of respect for the Thornton family, for their sacrifices. Um, for them, it was absolutely devastating. For me, I can't allow something like that or anything that happens in my life to hold me back. You have to take a situation like that and you have to allow it to build you. You have to take a situation like that and allow it to build the respect you have for life for the, the fragility of life, because life is fragile. You don't have to be fragile, but life is fragile, and it can be taken from you at, at any point in time. So on this day, on every day, I, I really do. I, I commend and I thank those of my brothers that came before me um, that allow me to be where I am, because it, it drives me and it pushes me on a daily basis. I had a conversation this morning with my son about my why. A big part of my why is because of young men like Lance Corporal John Thornton. Because he's not here to continue pushing in society and in life. He can't contribute to society anymore in his human flesh. I can on his behalf. I can continue to push. I can continue to try to do good things. To have an impact on the people around me and on society for a positive manner. And I'm not alone. I can assure you of that. There are many, many combat veterans out there that are doing 10 times, 100 times more than I will ever do. And I have a huge amount of respect for them as well. I aspire to be like them, to be able to have that impact on people, to be able to help out the world. So I'll leave it off by saying that, that on today, on every day, have respect for the life that you have. 
because it can be taken very, very easily. Enjoy it. Take the time, you know, the, old, the old phrase, take the time to smell the roses. There's some truth in that. Take the time to be present, to, to be with the people who you're with. Take the time to appreciate the fact that you're here. All right. Um, and I'm going to keep putting some other videos out there. So I don't know where the like subscribe button is on YouTube. I'm not a huge YouTuber, but definitely subscribe. If you want to hear any more of this, go to my YouTube channel. I'm on TikTok and don't laugh at me on that. I'm getting some good information out on TikTok. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat. I have no idea how to use Snapchat. So by all means, if you want to follow me, I'm going to continue putting more information out there as time goes on. And I hope that something I put out there can positively impact um, one of you fine folks that are listening. So on this day, on every day, enjoy the day and respect the day.